Hello everyone and welcome back to No Man's Land and this is episode 8 I think it is now. So yeah, plan for this episode is first of all get the worker underway and get rolling because in the last episode the freezer we planted oats into the ground. Apparently we've missed a few patches. That could be easily remedied. So yeah, we've got the tray back from the store. We've got the herbicide that is filled up and ready to go. But yeah, it's hard not to believe we did miss one or two patches. Oh, three patches I, I can see. Any more? Nope, I can see no more grass patches, or no more patches of unseeded dirt. Yes, this is going to affect, obviously, all of it being perfectly... Actually, no, it should be fine, because it's all... Should have a 100% further state. And, yeah. And we're doing the rolling now, so as long as we get it to 100 before the rolling gets over. Yeah, it's not much, but... At the end of the day, it's going to be noticeable. Yeah, literally only a couple of litres of crop we're using, a hand and fertilizer, so... But yeah, so I'll be thinking about what to do with the money, with the combine. We've got four months until we need the combine. We can hope for the combine we want. Or a better combine to shop in the used market, or go ahead and get a new plot of land. And I'm thinking we just go ahead and get a new plot of land. That's going to be 85 grand. Didn't see another spot up here. Um, yeah, not sure. I think we've done it, but yeah. Have a look here, make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah, completely around the spot I was going for, but yeah, a couple of spots here and there. But with that 85 grand, that's going to leave us with 15, 37,000 quid, and that is enough for the sawmill, which is 20 grand. And yeah, but pretty much it, I think. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Anything that pops up uh, is, is what it is. Uh, that's what we went over already, so yeah, we'll put it this way. Uh, will it be enough for a shed and a silo with 17 grand? I am not too sure. Actually, not. I'm going to take it over because we want to do the head of the first floor, especially down here, because with that tree over there, the worker does struggle in that, so. And I did try fast farming cheekily off camera and didn't work with the weight. Obviously, if I tr wanted to try, I'm sure we could have got it to work, but even just doing this 12 miles an hour, because this is the modded version, this is the Diablo multi roller, field roller. And I didn't realise this could be a mulcher. And what else was it? Now, because I was looking at rollers, I was like, eh, okay, he's alright. Potentially could have gone with something a bit more powerful, because powerful or more bigger, but we just don't have the horsepower quite yet. But I came across this, same as this one, the Power Roll 1. Oh, 1230 HD, but it's a multi roller because you can have a fill roller, a mulching, and a grass roller. So, in theory, we could save money on the mulcher, but is it worth saving that much money? Saving 25 grand, even though that mulcher can do at 25 miles an hour, so I think we will do the answer to that and we'll keep the mulcher. No point sending it now anyway, so... 
Stick to what we got. So I think if we if we go up and down here, actually no, we won't. We do the headlands. So if we do the headlands, get the worker on it, and then once this is done, we can skip to April. But yeah, well, it's about enough for a silo and shed. So that's the pallet and bell storage. I think we will get that because when we do bells and that, we can just put them here in storage. Same with pallets. Yeah, I don't want to go away with like the super capacity silos. Unless it's like bells and that. But yeah, that's I'm alright with that. That is two hundred thousand liters. Oh, Cause I didn't think I put any No, I didn't put any silo mods in, so I we went with the base game ones. They're like a hundred grand, so Make it with the cheap one for now. Yeah, I think we'll go with that one. Sheds. Sure, these are cheaper ones. You got these. Yeah, so something like that. That would be actually quite nice for us. But even that, ten grand. That's gonna mess up the terrain, ain't it? There, so yeah, not ideal. But when we get this plot of land, that is nice. That's nice and leveled. Because it seems we have farm equipment stored over there, and have to get over here, ain't it? Yeah. It's not going to be an issue. Do a bit of travel, and if anything, it's going to be more closer to all of our fields. Because I don't think we'll go any further west than here, so. Might as well just move the key things like storage and that, silos, to the other areas. But then again, we do want sheep and that. That's, that's the thing. We want sheep. And cows, so. So, how. Yeah, I think once we get onto the worker, we will. Once we've done this top headland, we'll have a look at the work. Well, the prices for the cow pens, because. We won't get cows. And for milking purposes. And down the road, we will get cows for milk and cows for beef. So, get some nice calves. Raise them up, suck them up, fat them up with no GMO, you know, GMO unhealthy rubbish. I was going to say crap, but rubbish being a bit nicer. <laughs> Sorry to anyone across the pond, but yeah, well, didn't mean it in a harsh way or anything, just having an all natural grass fed or well, grass fed based cows. Even though we can feed them maize, so you know, get corn silage. Yeah, no, we don't have maize plus on console. That's a downside, but that's because it's a script, and yeah, I've said it before, and everyone knows the why we can't have certain mods like that, because it modifies the game itself, the scripts, and Sony and Microsoft won't allow it, or one of them won't allow it, so. But yeah, the cows. Ideally, if we was having a look, that's going to be out the window for a while. A thousand cows. But even something like that, 45 cows. Because that is, not even too bad. Similar values, these are. 
cow pastures. That's even better. But again, that takes up a huge plot of land. Well, we literally need a dedicated plot of land for that, so... I think a hundred cows would be nice to start off with. Because I'm just looking at square footage, so... If that's that... I think we can just get a bunch of these. 45 cows, yes. But if we just get two of those. One for milk, one for beef. Yeah, I think we could do that. But yeah, regardless, we'll continue on with the rolling. As we're just following the trough it, look at all that dust kicking up. So yep, yeah, we'll get this done. And I'll see you folks in April. <laughs> Mushrooms we're going to load onto the trailer, and this is just from what we've produced since yesterday overnight. And yeah, I have not, you know, stayed up and moved the pallets and that. I literally just left them as they were after about what 11, 11 10 or 11 o'clock. Went to bed. There we go, that's all strapped up. And we'll take this to shop, so... And look at our lovely oats. And I think because they're in the first growth state, they're not going to be destroyed. Nope, they're not being destroyed, so... We can get away with that. Got the herbicide spreader ready, because we have weeds to get rid of. And this is going to be our new plot of land, so let's go ahead... And by plot 46. So this is our new land. And the boundary is roughly on the edge of the pavement that you can't really see. We can see it when it's not rendered in fully, but so it's roughly there, so actually what? Uh, no, we'll place sawmill. Yeah, do we need sawmill at the moment? No, not really. Well we need it, but not in the rush to get it done right now, so we'll get these sold, and again we'll get about 30, so about 90 grand I think for this, no not for 90 grand, about 80 grand or so, so that would definitely help us with our funds, is it 80 grand or, yeah I can't remember how much we get. How much are they going for at the moment? Have a look. Actually, no. But yeah, about 120,000. So we can buy the new combine if we so wish to desire. But I am going to wait and see if it pops up in the used market. There 
we go get into the cell point. Yeah, 127 grand. Obviously, that wasn't just from overnight, that was from most of yesterday, so to be expected. And yeah, another little chunk of income. And I should see if they use market. Ooh, nice little fertilizer spreader. Already got one of those. Nah, we don't need that. Ooh. However, this could be our first big tractor, the Fent 1000 Vario. Not more, just the base game one, but even still. Turn time is up to time 6 there, I forgot to turn that back up. Ooh, that's really tempting. And that's capable of doing, what, 517 horsepower so yeah it comes with the little engine 396 sorry about that little hiccup so 517 horsepower 183 grand and what's the top speed 37 miles an hour Ooh. that's the thing I'm not sure should we go for it should we not Oh, so tempted. I am so tempted, but I shall get this over here. Because actually, this little grass for a year, like the difference in the grass, that should be a good little farm track. So, sort of cuts on these trees down. Hey, that one is perfectly stood up. Got to gently knock over. And with this, we're going to sell it or anything. We're going to put it into the other sawmill. We'll keep these on the trailer for now. But can we cut these trees down? Cut this one down. Yeet. Can we cut you down? So we do get a couple of trees. There we go, timber. Get rid of the edges. Grab you. And get you on. As well, ooh, that's glitching through. There we go. And hopefully the recording ain't too loud with the background noise. I do have the fan on as it's yeah, got quite hot here in the UK again. 25 degrees today, even when I'm recording this on Friday night. It's still 20 degrees Celsius, so yeah, no, not as hot for what most people are used to, but still hot enough, especially when I've got the PC going and the PlayStation. In, in my room, or yeah, in my room, so it does get quite humid. So we'll leave you there. Because if we get these trees chopped down and move out of the way, we can bring the mower over and we can mow this and get silage. A little cheeky cut of silage. Or should we just cultivate it? We'll plow, we've got, yeah, got plow first. Oh, great. Perhaps we could get a couple of cheeky bells if we... Yeah, if, actually, let's just see what we can do here. So if we put the weight there, put the front loader there, because I think the quick bail that's got a very a very helpful pickup range. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah, I wish also price is not running over mine crops. Oh no. 
Flip over, please. There we go. Match the high is absolutely filthy. Is <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Oh, they're so going to the forest. I just want to grab. There we go. Flip. Not the way I wanted. Bear with me a sec. Yeah, it helps if you actually have the front hydraulic configured. Oh no. Tractor overboard. Cover this. Yes. Come on. Recover. Come on. Really? If I free space, it'd be fine. Yeah, I can't wait. What's wrong with size fit up? Oh, come on. Really? I know it'd be an easy solution. Get a front loader in that. And flip it. Come on. Come on. That's it. Out of girl. Out of girl. No. Oh, you know what? Sod you then. We're just going to reset. <laughs> I am not going to reset the beater because that has the sludge additive and I'm not paying three grand for another load of additive. And oh yeah, we did buy a couple more ba well, barrels of, I say Bowser's, but barrels of herbicide. But yeah, as I was on about, the quick bell's got a bit of a pickup range. We can mow this and bait it at the same time. Yes, we don't have the working width, but then it saves us having to win bro, so... And if we get a couple of cheeky bells in, that'd be a little, again, a bit of extra income there. But I just want to see how, how effective it is, in terms of how quickly we get bells and that, because if it's going to take a while to get it done, then I might as well just leave it and cultivate this field, because I... So what can we plant in April? Potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane I'm looking at, oats still, corn, sunflower, oops, soybeans. Yeah, I think, try to get soybeans planted today if we can. Yeah, but yeah, we really need a shed for all of our equipment because it is getting a bit of out of hand. <laughs> uh, we should get used to not going over our crops because, you know, we'll not be able to do that for a while. Well, we won't be able to do that once it... Uh, English struggling. Once it grows more, so... Oh, yeah, so... Yes, picking it all up. Not an issue. And it is getting done at a reasonable pace. Don't have to do any wind rowing. Even though... Phew. And there we go, we've got our first bale. Okay, we're just outside the property line there. Still are. Let's 
So it's about there, so... Actually, you know what? Let's go place the sawmill, actually. Heck it. Let's go and grab it. If I can find it. No, that's the... No, that's not that one we want. Run past it. Um, N. No man's land. Get us back as far as we can. And boom! There we go. We've got that. So, the timber goes in there, pallets come out of there. I'm thinking the free landscape. Do we want cobblestone, concrete? Nope, not that one. Try to match the sawmill if I can. There we go, that's the one we want asphalt. Bit of asphalt. Because if we get a little bit. Just spread it along a bit. Because then we can have space for sheds for our equipment. There we go. And I think... One more. There we go. That is perfect. Look at that. That's actually looking quite nice, so next we're going to need a shed. So not... Yeah, not that one. It's a bit expensive, or overly expensive. Uh, one, we don't have enough money. Great demand at the sell everything container. English Sheds pack I got here, so we can... Or just go with the No Man's Land one. But yeah, they're absolutely dinky they are, so... We'll go with these. Twenty four and a half grand though. Now nah, we'll go with these skip. Place two down, I think, so there we go, that is two. Uh, so go back to landscaping, go to painting, get the asphalt. And that is perfect. we got storage for all of our equipment, so now actually... Yeah, that's getting quite exciting now, so... Things like... Having another fuel tank. fit one there, like so. What else could we have? Just look at that, I've got several mods enabled. Just ignore that. Oh yeah, be under tools. 
Oh, what about a workshop? Oh, no, that's a bit expensive. No man's on one, though. Not too shabby. Place you there. I'm liking that. Do a bit of that. Get a toolbox. Yes, I know that is a hey. Same thing as a workshop, but I don't mind. Place a couple of these along. So, place one there. This one there. Got to get that sorted because that's bugging me. I didn't realise that. So concrete? Nope. Asphalt. Ah, that's ah. So that's bugging me, but in this week 47, I can't do anything about it, so Yeah, I think if we just do a little get your lines. Like so. Let's curve it in like so. Actually, I'm gonna have to go a little bit over. And we say curve you in. Like so. How far? Nah. Oh, that's literally the limit. The limit is literally there, so all oh, this is actually on the other side. Oh, you know what? I am not complaining on that. But yeah, the debate with the grass and that, I think best thing to do is one, find out what where the boundary is, which is about there. Yeah. <laughs> And then if you just go along and mow this. Actually in a way this will help us actually set up a fill boundary. Ah yeah, that's why I'm doing this. So then we could use that as a guide for our new fields. But yeah, so Ooh, gone over somehow. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is just finish this up, get the boundary done, and then we'll get all of the equipment moved over, put away neatly, and then I think we'll go from there in terms of what we're going to do next.
so we have been a little bit busy and I can see well, we've got new money now. Where has all that money gone to? Well, we bit the bullet and we bought the Fiat 1038. And also whilst we did off camera, I've just done all this off camera. We've got everything mowed. Well, at the end of it we did go with the back uh, mower. Went over with it and bailed it. So we've got 47 bells here. All nicely stacked over there. Yeah, there's a bit of an issue to auto load in. But the fields. So we've gone and got the heading done. I did some tweaks and that. I sort of, as I was going around, I was thinking where we could put the fields and that. Eventually, all of this is going to become part of the field. So, because all these trees. I'm going to go into here. So, gone around. We did have to cut one big tree down. We'll get that moved over. And for our second field, first of all, I was thinking to do a massive section like this, but I see we ended up going up the middle here because I'm not sure or not we actually want this little section here because. This area here could be very good for animals. Again, we want cows, so if I have a look. Obviously, we don't have enough money, just looking at everything. We could literally do one cow pen there, and then one flip it on the other way around. Yes, technically, we had to cross into 47 to feed it and all that stuff, but. We can get away with that. Also, with sheep. Which one was I looking at? Uh, the sheep pasture. So we can potentially fit that there. So, then. So, this you can fit it there. So, we fit that there. Or, so, fit the cow pens there. Sheep pens goes here, and then we do have some more space for production. So, again, I'm looking at what we can do. I want to get some productions going, but I ain't gonna do it literally every production chain. I may reserve that for American Falls or Court Farms, but little things like sugar beet processing plant, get a bit of cut sugar beet, also get some stones and. Sorry, I think that is. Also, for the cows, we will need a TMR mixing station, so have a little slot that over there somewhere. But what else? Yeah, are we going to touch grapes yet? Yeah, that's going to be a bit further down the road. So, things like the bakery, bakeries, and all that. Now where is the... Oh, that's it. Green mill. That's a massive boy. At 96 grand, so... So we can have something like that there. Potentially. And then the industrial bakery. I can find it. And then the industrial bakery can go there. Of course, we may run that space there, but again, do we need all that now? No. However, this is going to be where we extend the production into 47. For when we eventually do buy 47, because yes, it, yes, it's a massive forest area and it's elevated. But if we get enough money, I was going to say. Just love it all out. Get a hypothetical bulldozer and just go here and just go chop all that off. In reality, we'll just use the landscaping tool, but <laughs> you know what I mean. And in terms of the plowing that, yeah, I know I did say we weren't going to use it, but once we get enough money. I am going to upgrade the plow to either the 9 meter one there, or 
I am so tempted to get like these. The 22 or 26 meter plows. They are big boys. I may, yeah, I may just go with the 9 meter one. Can't afford it now, and I don't have enough produce. Yeah, I don't have enough to, yeah. But also, we did leave space for paving, so again, this is where we run out of money, so I've done paving all the way down. I'm not sure why I've done this. I think it's more so just to divide the field up a bit. So I just have a dirt track there, and then a little paving going around there for when we may get this plot land. Actually, we can get 58, because that is very flat. Quite a bit of forestry as well, so. Because 47 and 58 is going to be our next plot land or purchase, I think. For just doing this quick scouting here. Yeah. And we did cut those small trees down. We did put them into the trigger for the sawmill. However, this is Saturday, I have some recording in this. And for some reason, sawmill accepts it, so you know what? We're just going to leave that, get you going. That's going to make us a ton of stuff. I will grab you, because we'll get that tree moved over. And um, where is the front loader to? Oh, I did not move that over yet, didn't I? Nope. Say for you to go to. Oh, just try to get out, just go over there because we could get some of these trees cut down. Ah, that's why not enough money. Yeah. No worries, that's an easily amendable solution. So, just put you like so. Grab the John Deere and get the weight in front so those are attached. And there is the front loader. I'm thinking everything moved over there is still the mulcher and the cedar to be moved over, but that could all be done off camera, so we're going to go and watch chop it in half. to you. Get some of these on. So I do want to quickly feed this sawmill. We'll get some trees over, some big boys. So yeah, I think this episode is getting a bit long now, so what I'm going to do is do a very quick time lapse. Just get some trees on. As you see, it ain't gonna be much, I don't think. Well, I say that, it makes me you know at the end of the time that's we're gonna have a massive tray of four logs, but who knows? So, yeah, I'm gonna quick get this done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
later we are done, pretty much. Got quite a bit of timber over to the sawmill. Made a decent tent into the forest. And we're just picking up the last little bits and... Yeah, for some reason I was having issues with the trader and that, so it was like clipping through. But if, if anything, actually what we could do with is actually a winch. You know, from the Platinum DLC. How much are they actually? Have a look. Oh, we'll already be under forestry equipment. Have a look for a winch. Don't really see much difference in those two, so seven and a half grand. So, yeah, really, you can just get a winch over, hook up like three big trees, and just drag it over here. Yes, I know, but that does cause an issue. Often, this becomes a field. However, we're not at that point yet, so I'm not going to worry about that. So, I was going to go in. That is 45,000 litres of wood in there. And do we have any planks? No, not quite yet, but we're going to get some coming very soon. So I'm going to leave that to go overnight. As much as I want to get the plan done today and seed in, it's ain't going to happen. We need some money because we want a new plough. New plough, the winch. And uh, for the greenhouses, I didn't realise, as part of the TARDIS mod, there's a TARDIS, we got tanks. Of course, I'm going to go with the 200,000 litre capacity one. I'll stick with the 20,000 litres on this one. Yeah. So. Bit chunkier tyres. That's going to cost us an extra 500 quid. Right, you know what? We're sticking with just normal colours. So yeah, that's going to be five and a half grand. So yeah, it's, be, it's a lot of money and we'll get that overnight easily. I'll just dump you over there. So I think the last thing to do is just fill up the tanker. And... Oh yeah, losing words here. Fill up the tanker and get the greenhouses filled up. Because how are they doing at the moment? Actually, not too bad. But we'll still grab another of those. So we get that hooked up. Oh, that's very full. That's handy. So yeah, on that note, that is where we're going to leave it to for today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for all you choose to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.